and six, facing Oklahoma, trying to go back to back. Oregon State is there for just the second time. Tim Walton has built a dynasty in Gainesville, Florida. The Gators are there after they beat Virginia Tech, Arizona, and Oklahoma State. Kate Trohan, wow. This was a phenomenal series, a phenomenal season continues for you. Let's start with Danielle Williams. Your trust in her seems to be undying. Well, she trusts in the game and she trusts in her preparation, but man, is she a warrior. She pitched her heart out tonight. I thought Michelle called a great game, but she's she's an all- You got it, Jordan. You got it right, Jordan. We'll give it back to her. You can stay with us. We'll get back to Jordan Rudd in a second. I am as so it's sorry. Now a, a much colder Kate Drohan, as we were talking about Danielle Williams' trust. She's amazing. And, you know, her team trusts her. She feeds them the, the ball. Uh, she's just so, so tough. I'm so proud that she's on our team. Coach, you guys were down in every single game. What did it take for this team, this offense, to come back with the deficit, stay in every single ball game, and end up coming away with two wins and a trip to the Women's College World Series? I think it's their resiliency. I think it's their work ethic. Um, and they're really, really good to the game. And, and so they, they just believe if we've got an at-bat, we've got a shot. Okay, 2007 was a long time ago. What has the wait been like for you? Um, I've missed it. We're excited. We're excited to go. Um, but I'll tell you, what an epic series with Arizona State. An unbelievable team. These three games felt like World Series games. Kate, thanks. If you can find Jordan Rudd, we'll, we're happy to talk to her next. You got it. Thank you. Go Cats. <laughs> They're doing the worm. They're stoked. That's what it's all about, celebrating on the field with your team after you win. Those are just memories that last forever, truly. Our Capital One rewarding performance today. Jordan Rudd had quite a day. She goes four for five and drives in three. Yeah, who else but Jordan Rudd? She was clutch at the plate. No matter what pitcher was in for Arizona State, she found a way to get the job done. She covered every single part of the plate when the team needed her. With runners on scoring position, she came through with the big hits. She showed the power, she showed the pop, and she's been doing it all weekend long. And a diving grab behind the plate to cap it off. Jordan, today, your team is down 5 nothing. What were you thinking about when you came up in the fourth inning and that rally really started to get going? I mean, one run at a time. Our team is awesome. I mean, we knew we had it. We just had to keep working one run at a time. So that's all I thought. I have so many great teammates that have my back. So it was awesome. Jordan, you were pretty much unable like to get out at the plate this weekend. What, were, what was going on at the plate? What were you seeing that made you so successful against this Arizona State staff? Honestly, it wasn't even what I was seeing. It was what my teammates were saying to me. They were like, you got this. One run, one base, one everything. We got your back. And when you have your teammates have your back, you've got it. Daniel Williams threw over 300 pitches this, in, this weekend. You got Michelle Gascoigne back today. What was your view from behind the plate of her performance, her best perhaps of the year? I mean, you couldn't ask for any better. Danielle Williams is a fighter. That girl will go through, I mean, everything for us. And today that, that proved it. This whole weekend, it proved that. Jordan, for your group of seniors, this has been a journey since you guys stepped on the field as freshmen. And I know Oklahoma City is the end goal. So how does it feel knowing that you guys punched a ticket? I mean, it feels like just the beginning. I mean, we got to get into OKC and we got to win some games. So, I mean, it, it's awesome. It is a dream right now. And we're excited to get ready to work for the next game. Thanks, Jordan. Congrats. Thank you. Go Cats. Okay, Danielle. Well, you told us after game one when you threw 11 innings, you were going to hydrate. You were going to feel good. How did you feel physically coming into this game tonight? I mean, I felt good. Um, I knew my team was behind me the entire time, and we're just going through it together. So we went out and had fun. <laughs> Danielle, when you gave up five runs in this ball game, you know, a lot of pitchers would fold or get taken out, but you stayed in the ball game. What did you have to do to adjust and kind of work through that period of the game to only tighten up and finish really strong? I think just trust my pitches. Um, I knew my offense was behind me the entire time, so I had no doubt. <laughs> we can sense the love between you and Jordan Rudd. We just talked to her. What does she mean to you as someone who's been with you throughout your career? She's awesome. She just knows like what to say in the moment. Um, just we just really get each other and on and off the field. So it's really fun to play with her. What are you most looking forward to about going to OKC? 
I think just having fun with my team. <laughs> hey, that's what it's all about. Thanks, yes. Danielle. Thank you. Go Cats. <laughs> So much joy, so much excitement.